So let's consider two points, 5, 5 and negative 1, 4. Let's start by plotting those points. Now let's connect those points. What we have created here, it's a line segment. So what we want to do, we want to find the location of a point. Let's call it P. That will partition the line segment. But partition, it just means to cut. We want to find the location of a point P that will cut the line segment into a ratio, a ratio of two to one. If we want to cut a line segment into a ratio of two to one, we can think of this as cutting the whole line segment into three equivalent pieces. So let's estimate that in our diagram. By introducing these two marks, we have cut this line segment into three equivalent pieces. Now, before we visualize the location of this point P, we have to keep in mind that we have direction on this line segment. We call this line segment AB. So the direction is that we're going to start at A and then we're going to move towards B. Then if we put everything down, we can see that the location of P will be around here. Because notice that at this location, we have two equivalent line segments towards A. And we have one equivalent line segment towards B. Now the question is, how do we precisely find the location of point P? Instead of considering this diagonal line, we're going to consider the horizontal and the vertical distance. So let's draw the horizontal distance. Notice that we have x value at negative one, and we want to go all the way to the x value of five. We are traveling six units. So now let's consider its vertical distance. If we start at the y value of negative four, and we go all the way up to the y value of five, we are traveling nine units. So remembering that we cut down this diagonal line into three equivalent pieces, Let's do the same for the horizontal and the vertical. So we have cut down the horizontal into three equivalent pieces. So we have cut down the vertical into three equivalent pieces. Now let's find the length of each of those individual pieces. Well, if the total length was six and we cut it down into three equivalent pieces, then the length of each of those pieces is a value of two. Let's do the same for the vertical. The total length was nine, and we want to cut it down into three equivalent pieces. Therefore, each piece has a length of three. Now let's think about how we can define the location of P. Maybe we can start at the point B, and we can move this many distance to find the location of point P. But notice that that's the same at starting at B and moving one of those units to the right and one of those units up. So now let's define the location of P. We can start at the X value of B, which is negative one. And if we move one unit to the right, we know that each unit has a length of two. So that's the same as adding two on the X coordinate. And then um, we can concentrate on the Y's. If we start at B, we can start at negative four. But if we're just moving one unit up, we know that the length of each unit is three, so that's the same as just adding three to the y values. So now if we simplify this, we get one comma negative one. So now we can say that the location for the coordinate point P is one comma negative one. Welcome. If you would like to continue learning about mathematics, you can check out the videos on the left. 